No. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, uh, today I rise to speak about the nomination of Mike Pompeo to be our next Secretary of State. By now, we have all heard of Director Pompeo's accomplishments, first in his class at West Point, uh, U.S. Army officer, graduate of Harvard Law School, editor of the Law Review, successful businessman, and member of Congress. It is rare that a nominee to this position has had so many diverse accomplishments. Now, some of my colleagues who are opposed to Director Pompeo argue that he will not deliver tough messages to the president or outline all of the policy options. They argue that Director Pompeo is a hawk who would prefer armed conflict to, to diplomacy. I find these, these uh, comments disappointing. That has not been my personal experience with Director Pompeo. In addition, military officers are frequently the last ones to seek a military solution to a foreign policy challenge because they know firsthand the cost of war. On the other hand, they also know that without strength, no amount of diplomacy will be able to stop an authoritarian dictator. Director Pompeo's recent trip to North Korea, I believe, highlights how effective and committed he is to pursuing diplomatic opportunities. He not only defended core U.S. interests, but also moved the U.S. and North Korea closer to negotiations. The maximum pressure campaign combined with a willingness to talk is working right now. I also want to address the issue of communication with Congress. I have heard claims about information not being shared with the Hill. As a member of the Intelligence Committee, I have worked with Director Pompeo regularly and can personally vouch for his accessibility and candor. Having worked with a number of CIA directors over the years on the Intelligence Committee, I can personally attest that Director Pompeo is at the top of the class for being open and straightforward. I would also like to address the issue of bipartisanship. Since coming to the Senate a decade ago, I've had the chance to vote for three secretaries of state. Mr. Pompeo will be my fourth. In each case, I have supported the president's nominee to serve as secretary of state. President Obama's choices for secretary of state would certainly not have been my choices. In the case of secretaries Clinton and Kerry, there were numerous issues where we had substantial disagreements. I believed that as to the secretary of state, however, the president was entitled to deference as to his choice, and that choice deserved bipartisan support because their credibility as the top diplomat is strengthened by bipartisan support. Another important factor is that, the sec is that with Secretary of Pompeo, world leaders will know that he speaks directly on behalf of the president, something that has been an issue in the past. This quality is very, very important for a Secretary of State. Director Pompeo is more than qualified to serve as Secretary of State. In fact, at this point, because of his service at the CIA, Director Pompeo is uniquely positioned to be a, success, a very successful Secretary of State. No other place in our government provides more insight into the inner workings of other countries than the work of our intelligence agencies. The CIA is certainly one of the top uh, intelligence agencies, and Secretary Pompeo and his service has had access to and indeed directed uh, the work of the CIA and has a very deep and profound understanding of uh, the other nations in the world, and that applies, applies particularly to the trouble spots in the world. He is uniquely, he is uniquely qualified uh, because of this experience to serve as Secretary of State. We have often used the phrase, politics ends at the water's edge, to signal that our domestic political differences do not erode our diplomat strengths overseas. I hope that this note does not change what has been, I hope that this vote does not change what has been a long-standing goal for our diplomatic efforts. I urge my colleagues to thoughtfully consider support for Director Pompeo. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.